Google has officially launched its licensed image label inside of Google image search results. This is a holy crap moment if you are a photographer or a content publisher that's trying to get their name out there and license their content. Google is going to be an excellent source of passive traffic and getting traction to your licensed content in order for you to get some extra sales on your photos. In this video, I'm going to go into depth and show you what it looks like, how you can find licensed content, and how a lot of images already that have been trying to utilize this are utilizing some outdated Creative Commons and how that can cause a lot of issues. What ties all this together is making sure you're up to date on the licensing and you're adding in the proper schema on your images and you also have the proper SEO elements on your site as well. If you want to get in with Google and get them trusting your content and showing your content higher up on search. These are some tips that you can utilize to get your images to move up higher because no longer are a lot of these images that have been dominating the search results are going to really neglect your talent in order to sell more of your stock photography. So let's go into this video. I'll show you what you can do and how it looks like and things to consider. Let's dive in. All right, let's take this for a ride. So I want to check out something pretty cool. I'll look into yachts, right? And let's go into images here. When you look over here in tools, you have this new little thing called usage, right? So you're getting a lot of different yachts like you would in Google search. You can see the pursing. All right, some really nice yachts. But I want to find some creative common licenses. Now, you'll notice that there's this little badge here for license a ball. So this is Creative Commons. Typically, if I want to work with something to repurpose it, and depending on the designation that's provided, I can repurpose it. So this is the first one that I'm seeing in Port and Drach. I go in here and I can see the license detail right here. All right, so I want to click through the license deal and find out. And through my research, this is uh, something that has been deprecated because it's no longer the current one and it's not recommended to be applied to your work. So it's important that you have the right licensing on your work and you're using the most current one because a lot of the time, if you have a lot of content on your website, you may set it and forget it. And the thing about SEO is you have to always stay ahead of the game. So let's just go back here. So we can look at a couple of these and you can see license detail. Let's see if we can find something, right? So the same thing is retire this legal tool and is not recommended. So is that outdated? Maybe we can do yachts 2020 and see if we can find something a little bit. All right, so this is, that's, that's a beast right there. So we have Wikimedia comments and then license detail. So if I go to Wikimedia comments, someone's already posting it here. And this is great SEO optimization, right? right here for your images and putting it on wiki to get more traction. So that's a great way to build some more cred credentials as a user. You can see the user right here. So I want to go back here. Now, what about the license detail? There you go. Then you can see this is the correct license for this one. And it's actually the approved for uh, sharing and adapting. So you can transform and remix. This is the most common one. If you want to make social media posts, this is what you're looking for. So that's a great way to get your name out there. If you're not making any money on your licensed content yet, using the free and repurposing your images with the Creative Commons is a great way to build up your, your credentials. So all right, but what about if I really want to pay for something? So commercial and other licenses, there's quite a few here. So I was actually looking at Yacht, and I saw this one from Yacht Charter Spain. You can see it's licensable again. When I click on through here, and I can see the creator, and then it says Mark, I go over to his site, I notice the site is not HTTPS secure. So this is going to make you basically uh, rank a little bit lower but it's taking me to the sites and it's it's a lot of friction, right? I see a pretty cool portfolio. I don't see the image I clicked. I don't really see a direct way to contact, right? That, you know, this is not a really good experience if you're talking about SEO optimizations. Of course, you have the info to reach out to this person, but you have to dig for it. So this comes down to the schema implementation and how you're doing the schema. So let's like look at this one. And I can see a little bit of, all right, so I got another license one here. Boom. This is where I can go directly to check out and download. Look at that. Personal use, all ready to go if I use this photo. 
and I can just download. That's really cool in Malaga, Spain. Now, a little bit more on the license detail. This is taking me to another breakdown of pages. So cool, I've got actually two places where I can do the licensing. All right, so you got all of this up and running. Now, how do you take advantage of it and how do you license your content, right? So I'm gonna have to reverse engineer some of this because one, this uh, Alami stock photo, they're already applying it to their web pages. Okay, so when you go to that web page, they're already putting in that schema to license it. But right over here in Charter World, they're not. So you have to use the structure data tool. So this is the image license in Google Images. It's gonna break down and explain how this is working. But on the bottom here, it's gonna give you a couple of factoids here. It talks about the URL, the first URL we were seeing, and then also the license detail page. So these are important, right? You have two different bits of information here where you can structure it. But when you go down here, this is what the code looks like. And this is the code you need to manually install on the images. You can have a developer actually install this code. But a couple of the things is it's basically the caption of the photo or the title of the photo. You're going to have some of the information, image, object, and then the content URL. So directly the image that is going to be hosted in Google and also the image that's being hosted on the website. License information. This is where you can license it. This is where Mark screwed up and didn't put a page where he can license that because so it's incomplete, and then how you can you know, acquire the license, some more information. So there's quite a bit of details here, and you can see that there's an image alt tag here from the body, but that's already should be inside of the page, and these call to action should be in the page. So it's really important to consider how you're going to do that. When you look at multiple images, the code gets a bit more complex, but this has to be added. Google picks this up and it's going to do the magic for you. So I'm gonna do a quick test on a couple of the links that we saw, and then we can go from there. So the first one here is Mark, and you can see, I don't see any of that image structured data here. This is going to just come up as default WordPress schema. So it has like website information and stuff like that. So this is indicating to me, his website's getting a lot of traction and traffic. It's probably an established photo G that already has a lot of business. Google sees that data and information through the search results. So it's great. You're getting some of the love directly from Google by having amazing images and probably having some mild optimizations. You haven't even optimized the site for HTTPS. So think what you can do if you're a photographer that's not even utilizing and you're already established, you could crush it. So the next one, there is a lot of info here, but you can see some of the license info. You can see the image object, the name, the image, the content URL, license, and acquire license page. All of the required fields. They're also putting in some keywords here and they're trying to do some uh, keyword, uh, I, I guess you can call this keyword cloaking. Uh, it might help for Google to classify the images because yes, the algorithm can understand images contextually and it can create images. Algorithms can actually create images, uh, rather artificial intelligence. So this seems like a lot of blow in terms of the keywords. It's kind of like buried uh, in here in the keywords. So I'm not even seeing the keywords. I'm not sure if they're like hidden, uh, sky. So you can see there's tons of keywords on the page and they might actually be hidden. So they could be cloaking. So I'm not sure. I'm not really looking into if they're doing something devious, but we can see what a big player in the image space could be doing to rank higher. So this is a little bonus that I didn't even expect to find. So this is a rare opportunity for content publishers to utilize new features from Google. Everybody in SEO is looking for a shortcut to get to the top, but in fact, it's not about shortcuts. It's about being the first one on the on-ramp when Google announces a new feature. If you're utilizing the schema properly on your website and you have those trust signals already, your content is going to be presented for people that are actually looking for license and content they can also modify for their own creative work. So this is a great way for you to display your content and get more traction and more engagement from people that want to license and manipulate your content. And this, this is how you build trust of Google because they'll show more and more of your images. And this is how you can compound your brand as a photographer. For a while, it's been very difficult because putting text to images is rather difficult because there's only so many things you can do. But now your entire portfolio can be available to the world on Google image searches. So utilize a professional and make sure your site is up to date and you're going to take Google image search by storm.
storm. If you have any questions about licensing your images on Google, drop me a comment here below and I'll be happy to assist. Thanks for watching. Now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Every day I'm publishing videos on growth hacking, digital marketing, how to be a successful entrepreneur. I really want to enable you to become a decision maker in your own business in the future of work. So if you want to come along with me on this journey, hit subscribe, hit notifications, and I'll talk to you real soon.